So after exploring three very different experiments, let's step back and tie everything together and answer the big question, why is copper red? What is it about copper that explains the colorful chemistry we saw and its usefulness in so many areas? The answer lies in copper's atomic structure and position on the periodic table, which give it a set of remarkable properties. Copper has the atomic number 29 and its electrons fill up orbitals in a unique way. It ends up with a filled 3D shell and one electron in the 4S orbital. This may sound technical, but the key point is that all those electrons are what make transitions metals like copper able to form colored compounds. In copper's case, its electrons absorb frequencies at the blue end of the spectrum. That means the light reflected from copper is lacking in blue and violet. It's enriched in the red and orange frequencies that weren't absorbed, so we perceive copper as that reddish-orange color. But in a nutshell, copper is red because its electron configuration causes it to interact with light differently than colorless metal. It's literally a case of quantum physics at play in the shine of a penny. 